Good morning, children. Now, today, the next topic that we are going to learn is the economic significance, the re reason for the downward sloping demand curve, that is the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded. <clears throat> now, the first <clears throat> effect or the first reason we call is the income effect. Now, what do we mean by income effect? <clears throat> now, see. Please note it at the beginning only that income effect, when we refer to income effect, there is no change in money income of the consumer. No change in the money income of the consumer, right? When there is a price fall, what happens? There is an increase in the real income or the purchasing power of the consumer. As there is a price fall, the consumer his real income or what we call the purchasing power increases and as that increases he can demand more the quantity demanded also increases okay leads to the so as there is a price fall as there is a price fall there is an increase in the real income or purchasing power you have to write this otherwise you won't get now please be careful the money income does not change with the falling price, the purchasing power increases. Just take an example. Suppose the price of a commodity is rupees 10. Okay. And the money income, the money income of the consumer is, or what you can call as a budget, is rupees 40. Is 40. Rupees 40. He has rupees 40 with him. So how much quantity can be demanded? How much quantity can be demanded? You can understand that is... 4 units, 4 units. Now, if there is a fall in price, if there is a fall in price and the price falls to rupees 8, so with that same money income, with that same money income rupees 40, okay, he can demand now 5 units of the commodity. How? Because see, money income did not change, no change, there is no change in money income. But what happens? Since the price has decreased, there is an increase in, increase in real income, increase in real income or what we call purchasing power, increasing purchasing power that allowed the consumer to demand more. This is the economic significance for the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded, which we refer to as income effect. Okay. Due to price change, whenever there is a change in demand, due to a change in the real income or purchasing power, that is known as income effect. Please note it down. Next, next is the substitution effect. Substitution effect. What do we mean by substitution effect? As the price of a commodity decreases, the commodity in question which we are dealing with say commodity X, its price decreases. Now as its price decreases, it becomes relatively cheaper with, its, with respect to its substitute goods. It becomes relatively cheaper with respect to its substitute goods. Automatically, as consumers are attracted towards relatively cheaper goods, some of the consumers will shift to this commodity and the demand for the commodity will increase. So as the price of the commodity decreases, it becomes relatively cheaper with respect to its substitute goods. So consumers shift, shift to this cheaper good and automatically there is an increase in demand, quantity demanded for the commodity. This effect due to rising, uh, due to fall in price, this effect due to fall in price we call substitution effect because it becomes relatively cheaper with respect to its substitute goods. So this is another effect or another reason for the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded. Combining these two at the total of the income effect and the substitution effect, the total of the income effect that we learned previously and the substitution effect together is known as price effect, together is known as price effect. So price effect, price effect equals to income effect plus substitution effect.
please note it down. The next reason that can be accounted for the downward sloping demand curve or the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded is the law of DMU. DMU means diminishing marginal utility. Diminishing marginal utility. As we know, you will uh, we will come into the next chapter. Please take a note of it. The consumer's satisfaction is maximized when the price of the commodity is equal to the marginal utility of the commodity. What is marginal utility? For every additional uh, unit consumed. Please listen carefully. For every additional unit consumed of a commodity, the amount of change in satisfaction, the amount of change in utility is known as marginal utility. So, as marginal utility, as quantity demanded increases, the total utility may increase for all the commodities consumed. But for every additional unit, uh, unit consumed, every additional unit consumed, the marginal utility decreases. That's the law of diminishing marginal utility. Now, as consumer's satisfaction is maximized when the price of the commodity is equal to the marginal utility of the commodity. Just take a note of it. This proof, this theory will be, will be coming in your forthcoming chapters. Now, law of diminu uh, 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 diminishing marginal utility states that as quantity demanded, marginal utility decreases. Okay, and vice versa. If quantity demand decreases, marginal utility increases. Now, since this is the state, equilibrium state, we say for a consumer's satisfaction to be maximized, utility to be maximized. If there is a fall in the price, to maintain this equilibrium, if there is a fall in the price, to maintain this equilibrium, the marginal utility also has to fall. And when marginal utility falls, means the quantity demand has to rise. So ultimately, when there is a fall in price, the quantity demand increases. So thereby, the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded. This also is a reason that may be accounted for the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded. Two more reasons that can be accounted for downward sloping demand curve other than the most three significant ones which we have discussed earlier. One is increase in the number of consumers. So if there is an increase in the number of consumers, automatically there will be an increase in the market demand. The demand for the commodity will increase in the market. So number of consumers is leading to increase in the number of consumers also leads to increase in the demand for a commodity and alternative uses of the commodity is another reason which we can account for. Now, see here, alternative uses means a particular commodity can be used for several purposes. Say for example, uh, a particular commodity when the price at a particular price, it is used for some very important reasons. It is used for some important reasons according to the priority. Now, if the price of the commodity falls, if the price of that commodity or the price of that service like electricity, if it falls, we can put it into more uses, means which are less important, but since the price has fallen, decreased, automatically we can put them into some more uses. Okay, suppose the price um, uh, of the commodity decreases and we not only use for switching off the light or switching off the fan, switching on the flight or switching on the fan for the lighting purpose, but the, since the price of electricity has reduced, we are using it into much more multiple uses like for cooking, for decorating and all. So automatically the demand use, uh, uh, increases. So when there is a fall in the price, if the commodity can be put to some alternative uses, the demand increases for that commodity. So that is also another reason. So five reasons we generally account, for, account as the economic significance of the inverse relation between price and quantity demanded. Now three of them are very important. The income effect, the substitution effect with combinedly known as the price effect and the law of diminishing marginal utility is also another reason. 
and two more factors which can be accounted or reasons can be accounted is the increase in the number of consumers and alternative uses of the commodity. So these are the economic significance of downward sloping demand curve or what we call the reasons, economic reasons for downward sloping demand curve.